is basically exposing you to the, all the nice parts of doing research, but also a lot of the challenges that you'll get to face. Inside of this kind of bigger project of your teacher, you can really choose to do your own thing. For the first time in the program, doing research uh, in an extensive, comprehensive and quite long-term way. I'm looking at uh, videos uh, made by the Dutch government about the environment uh, and they are kind of these uh, awareness campaigns and I'm looking at uh, how the government kind of framed the role of the consumer within the uh, environmental problems. I studied the correspondence network of a Jewish-German noblewoman, and she was basically very well known because she wrote letters to the large intellectual figures of her time, so Goethe and von Humboldt. And what I actually wanted to find out is whether or not she uh, was considered a valued member of that community. My research was about a a uh, German mineralogist or geologist called Abraham Werner. And I was curious to know um, where did Werner's ideas come from? Who informed them? Who was he reading? So I read most of Werner's publications from uh, the first half of his career. Well, at the start of the course, you get assigned to one of four professors and you basically help them with a project. So it's almost like we're just three researchers uh well, sharing each other's experiences. Uh, my teacher also shares what she is doing all the time. That makes it really feel like we are kind of colleagues in a way. 80, maybe even 90% of the day is spent reading and logging results on an Excel sheet. Only at the very end is it the part that we're more familiar with when it comes to writing research papers. And that's stepping back and connecting the dots and making the puzzle fit together. You learn a lot about the methodology very early on in the course. And you learn about your fundamentals, so your reading and how do you find a subject that is compelling enough. How do you look at sources? Uh, how do you write about this sor these sources? Um, what do you also go look for? Like, what kind of questions do you ask? Knowing how quickly you can read, how much material you can process, it's learning to use programs. I learned to use um, our language. I learned a good way to integrate um, artificial intelligence into research. All in all of the scenarios that I have in my head right now, the knowledge that I have gained during this course really matters because I am very interested in a PhD, which is of course for such a large part doing just this. I am really uh, looking for jobs that uh, involve research in a different way. So I don't know where I will end up yet, but I hope <laughs> research will somehow be there. It's difficult. Um, very, very rewarding once you're actually done. Um, and because of that, because of its difficulty, I think it's also the most, the most valuable.